Hello and welcome to a special on one of the most beautiful and talented film stars from India. The Indian film world is conscious of pressures for change, but they continue to be outbalanced by forces for the status quo. The main reason being, theatres are crowded. No other medium matches film in its hold on wide audiences. And film stars are idolised throughout the world. They are the main obsession of cinema devotees. One such star is Rekha, whose name has become synonymous with beauty. Now, just for the benefit of viewers, Rekha is the kind of person who probably needs no introduction as far as the Asian community from anywhere in the world is concerned. But for those of you Canadians and Americans who are watching the program, and some of you are already familiar with the superstar Rekha, Rekha is a star idol from India, and she's been one of the topmost stars for many, many years and probably will be there for a long time to come. You can say Here that again. <laughs> Rekha, I want to talk to you about your film career. Okay. I don't know where to begin, because you've had so many Golden Jubilee, Silver Jubilee, Diamond Jubilee hits. I don't really have any favorites, because I don't think much about myself as an actress anyway. Everybody knows about it by now. But then I, I have enjoyed working in a couple of films, like Khub Surat. Yes. And that song. No, let's talk about Khub Surat. Okay. Now, Khub Surat, you well, played Well, now that you're going to show about the yeah, segments. you played a tomboyish role. Right. Right? You know, frankly, a lot of people really thought that, that, that was me? Uh, it, w it was you at that time. You want to know more about Khubsurat or yes. you want to know more about me? I want to know more about you. <laughs> okay. See, Khubsurat's role is quite a bit like me, but that I am only at home with my family. I'm only like that with people whom I'm very familiar with, you know, bubbly and full of life. Otherwise, like I told you before, I'm quite shy. Okay. Let me see which is my favorite scene. Uh, I like that song in Kalab Zindabad. Yes. I like what? that song. I cut my hair short. That suits me, you know. Is that right? Mm, I've already <laughs> cut it short. A lot of people are disappointed. <gasps> you cut your hair, Rekha. They went. It's I've grown. I cut it quite right? short. That much. It's grown quite a bit. Thank God for that. When, when you cut your hair, uh, you know, like if you're already working in other films, then you need to do continuity, right? Yeah, well, you can wear a switch or something. But then, you know, once I did it, then yeah. I realized. But then it didn't make any difference to me. Like my fans, they yeah. reacted drastically. They said, ah! Because they identify me with my hair, you know. They right. say that Rekha means long, Indian, you know, typical Indian beauty. But it wasn't all that good as you think it is. It just looks very nice on screen. Rekha, among the romantic films that you had done, mm -hmm. you had several favorites, I'm sure. Mm. Which romantic. one? Of, yeah. You, you know, some of the real nice, uh, uh, subtle roles that you had done. What were your favorite films? Romantic. I can only think of one film, Silsila. In fact, I have some news for you. Silsila holds one of the biggest records for video sales on a worldwide basis. Is that right? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not surprised. Okay. Is there any specific favorite uh, segment of Silsila there for you? Uh, I like that scene with the Jayaji uh -huh. on the green lawns of Lodi Gardens, uh -huh. where I speak to her. And there's a scene, there's just about one scene where we both, sure. in a white side. Do you remember yes, that Yes, I scene? remember, of course. Okay. She's very spontaneous, and uh, she's come up with some very interesting things, I must say, about uh, her personal life and things that would be of great interest to the public. Rekha, what would you have done if you had not become a film star? What, you know, what would have been your alternative? You mean what else? Yeah. What if? I can't think of anything right now, honestly. Like I said to my mother, I said, if I had to be born again, I would want to be a film actress. Really? Mm -hmm. Definitely. What is the attraction in being an actress? First of all, I would like to be born a woman. Really? Definitely. First a woman and then a film actress. What kind of uh, role change is taking place with respect to the status of women in India? Because you portray the roles of different types of women in movies. From the perspective of a film star, how do you perceive the changing role of the life of women in India now? Today's woman? Yeah. Very strong. Are you talking only in the urban areas, or are you talking... Everywhere. Really? Today's woman is a very strong woman. Indian woman, today's woman, is the strongest. In which way? In every way. She's changed. Changed for the better. You know, I think I am really the symbol, in the sense key. the changes I have gone through over the years, as a woman, I have seen that in each and every woman of India. It's true. Over the years, even my mother, even my Aya, even my Bai, even my driver's wife, you know, every woman I've come across, even a child, every woman, today's woman in India has changed for the better and she's become tough, really tough. 
tough, not in the bad sense. Really nice, strong, very strong. How are the Indian men accepting this I mean, this what change? I mean to say is that a man cannot take an Indian woman for granted today. Is that right? Definitely. How has it's it not just uh, you know sitting at home and looking after the kids and that's it. No. What kind of influence has that had on the film industry? Yeah, well, um, the typical Indian heroine has changed. Like the kind of role Shabana is doing, that proves she's she's uh, um, people think that she's really a symbol of a strong Indian woman, and people want to be like that. At least most of the Indian women of India want to be like Shabana, the kind of role she plays. You know, like what she's done now. You know what she's done. She's mm -hmm. done that. Uh, Mm, fast for the workers and stuff like that. You haven't heard about it's it? It's interesting. Yeah, I've heard about it, but yeah. I wasn't very much aware of it. She's uh, kept a fast and for the workers, the slums. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, that, that's the kind of Indian woman. That's the image. That is the Indian woman today. Do you feel that uh, film stars, uh, after uh, reaching a certain amount of uh, stardom, um, look for uh, fulfilling maybe certain obligation to, for social responsibilities to the community? I I haven't gone so deep in that. I just listen to my roles. If I like them, I do them. I look for different kinds of roles. No, I know my image. I mean, I can set an example if I have, you know, I can convince the audience if I do anything. Like, if I do a particular role and I can convince the, tell the audience that, okay, this is the right thing to do. But uh, I don't go for the images or anything. I just go for my role. All I'm concerned about is to do justice to my role, even if it's a mad woman's role. Excellent. Because I'm an artist first, you know. I remember your first meeting, you know, in my first meeting with you, you said that you've done all types of roles. I and want to do a mad, mad woman, I remember role. that. We're delighted to be at the sets of one of the finest motion pictures that's under production, namely Marty Mange Khun, produced by two of our favorite friends, uh, uh, pioneer producers, Mr. Pavan Kumar, very well known in the community, as well as Dr. Lakan Sinha from the United States as well. This is directed by one of the outstanding motion picture directors of India, none other than Mr. Raj Kosla himself. Of Hi course, <laughs> the stars are, the stars are, the star idol of India, none other than your favorite North American Shatrugan Sinha, who is here with us on the set. <laughs> and of course, one of the most beautiful girls from the Indian subcontinent, the superstar, number one female star of India, none other than Rekha herself in the set here with us. <laughs> you do, eh? Yes, I still haven't come across that role. I see, I see. <laughs> I guess because I play that role all the time in real life. I see. How would you describe... You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you structure uh, other people's lives? Uh, no. <laughs> you no. don't, I no. see. You don't like to be structured no. as well? No. You really want to live a spontaneous life? I like to live my life. Whatever it is, be it spontaneous, whatever it is. I see. Tell me from your personal interaction mm. and acting with um, one of the greatest actors from India, Mr. Anita Bachchan. He's a star idol of India and in fact when he was ill there were prayers conducted for him all over the world in churches and mosques and other places. What do you think of Amitabh Bachchan, number one, as a person and number two as an actor? No, you. the first part is right. He's number one actor, he's also number one person. Have you come across situations where a producer uh, wanted you to make compromises in what you would consider values and or value judgments. Like in my roles? Yeah, in your roles. Mm, For the no. box office formula. No, I don't go into so much details. I just listen to the role and if it's interesting enough, I do it. Yes, we don't have always, we can't say, you know, don't have a say. We can't, I prefer not to interfere, you know. I just do my job and that's it. You know, the best part is that whatever I do on screen, you know, people are convinced. Like I just said in an interview, even if I'm playing the other woman, people like it. Society says it's wrong to be the other woman, fine. But if I do the role, it's very frightening, it's dangerous, I know. But then that's how it is. That's the kind of belief my fans have in me. You know, 
I just do my role convincingly and that's all that I'm concerned about. Nothing else. What is the role of religion in your life? I am a very um, God-fearing person, but I'm not pious in the sense that I'm not um, a fanatic. I'm, I don't keep praying every day or I, I don't uh, do my mantras or whatever. I just have this great rapport with God. He's my best friend. Rekha is acknowledged as a star actress who can pilot a film to box office success. I'm not okay for putting it. What makes you lose your temper when you're on the job, when you're working? Inefficiency. At the sets? Nope, anywhere. Uh, how do you cope with it then? You know, because not everybody I mean, can be very efficient. The only thing which you. can really annoy me is inefficiency. Because I'm too quick, you know, my mother always tells me, you don't expect anybody else to be as quick and as patient as you or as brilliant or sharp as you because everybody's not made like you. So if you can do a thing, a, a job in about 10 minutes, you don't expect the other person to do the same. I mean, everybody's, they're all a little slow, you know, so you don't expect that. But I don't know, somehow I feel inefficiency can really make me cry. It can kill me. When, when you're working on a set, maybe the other co-actors of yours, mm -hmm. do you feel sometimes that some other people who act, you know, opposite you, if they are not strong enough, that they can get intimidated? because of your strength and uh, your expectation of no, efficiency? No, I, you know, I don't like that. I don't like to upset my co-stars, or I don't like to make them conscious. I never give them the impression that I am the Rekha or whatever. For me, it's very important that I make them feel at ease. And uh, I really, you know, no matter how small the co-star is, he may be a, a budding actor or whatever, budding actress, but I treat him like a human being, him or her like a human being. To me first, he's a human being right. and uh, I try and do my best to encourage that person. And I see some good qualities in every human being. So he may be nervous or he may be a bad actor, whatever, but I, I take out, I see the best qualities in him, the best points in him and I try to tell him that, you know, this is good in you or that's good in you. Just try and, you know, concentrate on those points. Rekha, when you were a child, mm -hmm. who were your idols in, from the previous uh, generation films? of heroines? Yeah. Nobody in, in the film industry in India, but uh, Sophia Loren, yes. Sophia Loren, mm. that's very interesting. Yep. What attracted you about Sophia Loren? Everything, just about everything. Her eyes, her lips, her jawline, her figure, uh, just her attitude. You know, the kindness in her eyes. And she seemed to be a very, it always comes through, you know, in the eyes. Like my fans tell me, we can we communicate through your pictures, your photographs. Your eyes seem very kind and caring, and it shows what kind of a person that you are. I don't know if I am that kind of a person, but then it makes me feel very nice to hear these things from my fans, and that's what I liked about uh, Sophia Loren. Her eyes, very nice. You can see, you know, she came that time when I was in school. I never knew she came from a very s poor family, and she made it big and and all that, you know. But then when I read, when I grew up, and when I came to the film industry and Recently, I read her book, Loving and Living. Yeah. Oh, it was incredible the things she had gone through and what she has become from what, you know. That's really nice. I, what I, are you? I admire from nothing. And she's really a rare uh, combination of beauty and talent. What would you like to convey to the viewers as far as a special message from you is concerned to the vast community here, you know, in North America? Oh, well, a lot. I could talk all night. Are you watching me there? Can I talk? Okay, I'd like to say a lot of things. I'd like to say I, I'm very happy to be here, to meet all of you. Toronto is a beautiful place. I look forward to coming back again, and I hope that you receive me with the same love and affection that you have showered upon me. It was honestly most unexpected, but I'm very, very encouraged, and I feel very happy, and I hope to look, uh, see you all again soon. Very soon. Rekha, you know, we just have a couple of minutes before we sh finish the show and um, we want some final statements from you as far as your future plans are concerned. Are you going to be doing uh, more exciting motion pictures? Are you going to be, some people are saying that you may get into producing films as well someday. There's some rumors. Mm -hmm. Third thing is I want to talk to you about directing, uh, directing a film. And one more thing I haven't forgotten. Do you think you would ever be interested in getting involved in politics? No, thank you. Look, I don't believe in getting into anything I don't know anything about. And I really don't know anything about politics. Nothing about politics. 
And for information, I don't even read the papers. I've never read a paper in my life. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, but then I, I get the news. Of course, all my friends tell me exactly what's happening. Not that I'm ignorant. I know exactly what's happening in the country. But I haven't really picked up a paper, you know, read it. You know, I admire you for your honesty. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in your position would probably want to, you know, uh, sort of brush aside a few things. You mm -hmm. call a spade a spade. That's, That's a about tremendous... Just one about the, one of the good points that I have. I'm very honest. That's person. why we like interviewing you. <laughs> because you make it so interesting and you make it so live. And it's real. It's not like a rehearsed interview. Well, it's fun being interviewed by you. It's equally fun. Reka, it's been a real pleasure having you on the program. My pleasure too. It's been great seeing you and we wish you all the best and we would look forward to seeing many of your films. We would look forward to seeing your exciting yoga tapes, for instance. Yeah, I've and got a tape for you, incidentally. You've got a tape yes. for me? Thank you so much. I'd love to, you know, uh, have that. You uh, must do it. You must try it. I must try it? Yeah, mm -hmm. in fact, I'd like to. I have to reduce a little bit as well. You know, maybe it'll be helpful for me. You yeah. Know? Um, Reka, you know, we'd love to see you back in Toronto again. I'd love to come back soon, I hope. And uh, we'll prob probably see you in Bombay. We'll probably do a follow-up. And we'll also bring you greetings from the Canadian side. I'm sure we'll have a lot of feedback from our Asian audience and from Canadian and American audience. We'll pass on all that feedback to you. Okay. Okay? Thank it's been you. a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. And Bye. keep up the great work, Lika. Thank you. And just be the way you are, okay? Yes. I'll even get better. Don't worry. The next time no, you see me. It is you. You're just great. Just stay the way you are. Thank you. Please click on the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can be updated with all our content.